Spring is here, spring is here, everybody, spring is here. Good day, everyone, on this lovely, beautiful spring day where I am at and possibly where you live right now. I love spring so much, and thank freaking goodness it's finally here after a long, hectic winter. I tell you, people, here in Michigan, this winter was brutal. The constant snowing, many freezing cold nights, and slippery roads, and the constant shoveling snow. I shoveled the snow like 12 flipping times this year. It's not even funny. I wanted to end so badly, I wanted to go insane the membrane Cypress Hill style. But spring is finally here, so here's my top 10 reasons why I love spring. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Number 10. Love is in the air. This is what spring is known for. It could be any kind of love. The love for the cool windy breeze, the sunshine, the flowers, guys and gals, etc. Now that I think about it, I'm actually surprised that Valentine's Day is not in the springtime since that includes love. It just seems like Valentine's Day would be in the spring in the month of April instead of in the winter in the month of February. Number 9. Jumping in Puddles There's nothing like walking in the rain with an umbrella in hand and rain boots on your feet, just jumping and splashing in water puddles. Number 8. Rainy Days Rainy days can be absolutely wonderful in spring during the daytime and of course the nighttime. Just like snowy days and nights in the winter, you can also enjoy warm beverages like cocoa and warm lemonade tea during rainy days. Number 7 flowers it doesn't feel like spring unless the flowers are growing back wonderful and colorful number six the weather spring weather is absolutely gorgeous it's not too hot and it's not too cold either it's just right the perfect time to open windows for fresh air and feel the cool breeze the leaves from trees start growing back I also like when some trees look like cherry blossoms I also like cherry blossom flowers that's pink and white who doesn't enjoy hearing chimes make lovely sounds when it's a windy cool breeze from outside? All the animals including the birds return from the south due to hibernating during the winter. The birds chirping and if you live on a farm it's the return of roosters cock a doodle doo noises. The weather is so nice it makes you want to sing. So goodbye winter and hello spring. It makes me want to sing, and I got spring fever. Number five, spring clothes. No more snow boots, hats, gloves, long johns for the rest of the year, as it's time to bring in the spring clothes. We can wear short sleeve shirts, shorts, sunglasses, instead of just wearing shoes. We can also wear sandals with or without socks. I especially love when women return to wear short shorts, especially Daisy Dukes, also wearing tank tops, crop tops, belly shirts, etc. <sighs> so lovely. Number four, going to the beach. It's nothing like the spring and summer seasons when it comes to going to the beach, especially when it's spring break, y'all. The waves, feet in the sand, making sand castles, putting on a lot of tanning oil so you won't end up with sunburn, going shirtless. Let's not forget women in bikinis, swimsuits, bathing suits, you name it. Number three, longer days. In the fall, we set our clocks backwards. In the spring, we set our clocks forward. Where we have enough daylight and the days are longer. Enough energy and plenty of time to get things done. This is the perfect time to paint the house or do some spring cleaning around the house or get the roof fixed for the garage. We can go back outside and get some fresh air, sit outside on the front porch reading a book or simply enjoying the fresh air because it doesn't get dark until at least 8 p.m. in the spring. So no more winter blues of it getting dark early. And make sure you set your clocks forward and don't make a prank like Mordecai Rigby did in that one regular show, Daylight Savings Time episode. <laughs> This is the clock song we said in all the clocks wrong. <laughs> this is the clock song we said in all the clocks wrong. <laughs> Mordecai and Ribby, y'all, they be having a ball, y'all. <laughs> I love that beatboxing they be doing. Sounds like a Dougie Fresh Biz Marquee beatboxing. Number two, Mother's Day. Celebrating our mothers who had to push us out and brought us into the world. 
not just our own mothers but other women like our own grandmothers aunts etc who are mothers as well and finally number one Easter Easter is such a great holiday in the spring every Easter I always do color Easter eggs with my mother and she puts them in the an Easter basket she buys for me in my Easter basket I usually get two bags of hot Cheetos I love me some hot Cheetos I could finish a whole bag in one day I also receive chocolate Easter eggs, Reese's Cups, Kit Kats, Whoppers, Milk Duds, Sour Patches, including a delicious chocolate bunny rabbit. And I can't forget about the Basketball Slam magazines. You can never be too old for Easter baskets. Not to mention, there is also celebrating Jesus Christ resurrecting from the dead. Well, I hope you enjoyed my top 10 reasons why I love spring. I love spring so much, just as much as fall. So enjoy spring as much as you can because we all know spring turns into summer and the season will probably go by fast as soon as possible. Summer will be here in the next two months. So enjoy spring as much as you can. And I will be doing a video about some things that I do hate about spring even though I love spring so much the most. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. See ya.